What is up guys, Sarah here and for today's video we're going to be going over how you can invest your very first 100, 1000 or whatever amount of money in the stock market. Now if you are a complete beginner to the stock market and you clicked on the wrong video, I recommend you first watch my stock market video for beginners and then come back to this video. Alright guys, well before we continue make sure you hit the like button because it really really does help out the channel and let's just get into the video. Now, assuming you've watched my very first video, you know that you already have to have a brokerage account. That way you can buy and sell stocks. Now with that out of the way, let's just talk about how much money you need to start investing in the stock market. I get a lot of people tell me that $100 isn't enough. And I'll be completely honest with you, $100 is more than enough to start off with. I think it's extremely important to first start off with a little bit and kind of just build it up from there. That way you won't overwhelm yourself. Now the next thing I want to talk about, which is extremely, extremely important, is what investing strategy are you going to take? And for this video, we are going to focus on long-term investing, but there are two approaches to take within long-term investing. So the first strategy I want to talk about is known as the growth strategy. Basically, this means you're hoping to buy a stock and hold on to it for a while and hope that the value of the stock skyrockets long-term. That way you can sell it and get a huge return. For example, let's just say you bought Delta back in 2009 and you decide to sell it in 2019. You would end up getting a huge return on that investment. So basically, it's like investing in an undervalued company and hoping that its value will skyrocket long term. That way you can cash out in the future. Now the next strategy I want to go over is dividend investing. So this means that your goal is to collect dividends long term. So I'll give you guys an example of what this means. So let's say right now you decide to buy one single Apple share. So when you buy the share, you're becoming part owner of the company. So you're giving your money in exchange for a piece of Apple. And because of this, you are paid dividends, which essentially is cash that is paid out to you by the company. Basically, you can think of it as an incentive. And usually this amount is paid out yearly or every three months, depending on the company. This requires no extra work. It's just additional income that you get to receive by doing absolutely nothing. And the dividend amount you get paid can either be put back into your account so that you can reinvest it or just cash out. Now the goal for most people when it comes to dividend investing is to build up a stock portfolio that pays enough dividends so that you can earn a decent amount of income that will replace your income from your job. A lot of people will build up their stock portfolio to the point where they're getting paid a really good amount of dividends and they can just retire. So if you're young now and you just put aside all your savings in a stock that pays really good dividends, like for example TD Bank, they pay about 5%, you can expect many years down the line to have a consistent income stream from dividends alone. Now you can obviously do both dividend investing and growth investing, but I personally do both and I'd recommend that as well. But you honestly just have to think about what's best for you and what's your end goal. So just to recap, for growth investing, you basically want to cash out in a couple of years and get a huge return from selling. We're talking like $1,000 or more. And for dividend investing, you would like to receive income yearly from your investment by doing absolutely nothing. Alright guys, so now that we've got the two main investing strategies down, the third thing and one of the most important things is how to figure out what stocks to buy. Well the first thing I say, especially for beginners, is to actually just look at companies that you're already familiar with. For example, if you like Starbucks, why not do some research on the company? If you love going to Disneyland every year, then why not also do some research on Disney? Let's say you have an iPhone and always buy Apple products, well why not look into investing in Apple? This is a great way for beginners to start, in my opinion, and this is exactly what I did when I first started out as well. But of course, a couple questions you have to ask yourself when using this strategy is, do you believe in the company? Do you think the company is going to thrive long term? Does the company have a good reputation? Do you think the company will ever go bankrupt? And is the company paying good dividends? This is honestly the easiest way for beginners to start investing. Also, if you are still confused on which stocks you could buy, I did make two YouTube videos on it, so make sure you check those out. Also, another thing I want to go over is, let's say you're starting off with a small amount of money, like $1,000. There is some stocks out there that cost $1,000 by themselves. So do you want to dump all your money in just one company, or would you rather kind of diversify it? I'll be honest with you guys, I think it's way better to diversify your portfolio. So instead of investing close to $1,000 in just Shopify, you can just diversify your portfolio and buy several stocks such as TD Bank, Air Canada, Disney, Starbucks, Microsoft, and Apple. 
So you just invested in six companies instead of just one. This definitely is the approach I would take as a beginner. Also for me as a complete beginner, just to get my feet wet, I would probably want to invest in bigger companies that have great business models to start. So for example, the tech sector has some really good options that will thrive long term like Apple, Microsoft, and Facebook. And then I'd also look into some stocks that pay pretty good dividends, for example, TD Bank. This company has a great history of paying their dividends and their dividend yield is looking pretty good right now. Another thing I wanna mention before we end off the video is kind of just overcoming your fear of investing in the stock market. I notice a lot of beginners are kind of worried to invest. They don't really know what's gonna happen. They get kind of scared that they might lose their money. I'll be honest with you guys, it's as simple as buy, hold. That's all you have to do. Don't get so caught up in the stock going up and down. Trust me, if you buy in a company that you believe will thrive long term, if you just be patient and hold, it definitely is going to go up in value. And if you've made it to the end, I'm just going to give you guys a list here of the stocks that I would be investing in as a complete beginner. Obviously, this is my opinion, but you can definitely look into these companies for yourself. The first one is Apple. Second one is Disney. Third one is Microsoft. Fourth one is Facebook. Fifth one is Amazon, if you can afford it. Sixth one is TD Bank. Seventh one is Johnson & Johnson. The eighth one is Coca-Cola. And the ninth one is Visa. All right, guys. Well, that was all for this video. I really, really hope this helped you or just kind of cleared things up. Make sure you let me know down below in the comments what kind of videos you guys want to see from me. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time.